Fascism uh, arises uh, uh, out of, at least in its early stages, uh, historically, out of economic crisis and the political crisis that that engenders. Uh, it, it, it is a uh, effort uh, to install uh, a new form of government, uh, a dictatorship in which certain sections of the ruling class dominate all other sections of the ruling class and, and society in general. It arises uh, uh, in the form of a replacement of one form of bourgeois rule uh, over another. It is, it is not a ordinary uh, transition of government, but an extraordinary one. It doesn't, it might come to power by normal means, but it's sure enough don't stay in power by normal means. And we saw that almost on January the 6th, 2020, uh, 20, uh, 21, <laughs> when uh, Mr. Trump uh, tried to stay in power and in the events leading up to it. And that was why that was uh, so, so very, very uh, dangerous. Uh, fascism was uh, defined by our movement as the open terroristic dictatorship of the most reactionary sections of finance capital. Uh, and when we talk about finance capital, we're talking about the big banks. Talking about Chase Manhattan uh, back in the day, Morgan uh, Bank. We're, we're, we're talking about Bank of America. Uh, uh, we're talking about uh, Chemical Bank, where we're talking about uh, the, the mortgage companies and the uh, big financial houses on Wall Street. That's what we mean when we use the term finance uh, capital. Today, that's changed a little bit, and you, you, you have to add the military corporations, uh, you have to add big oil to that uh, definition, uh, some, some sections of the chemical industry, and uh, so on and so forth. And so the forces, the financial forces that populate the uh, 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 fascist elements are a little bit more diverse. Their mass base, however, uh, is in what we call the middle class, you know, small businesses, medium-sized businesses, professionals uh, who, who uh, are kind of, you know, betwixt and between. Uh, they, they see themselves uh, as, as affluent, as upper middle class, they, they aspire to become rich but they're uh, constantly being pushed into the ranks of the working class. And, and, and they don't have uh, a historical experience with trade unions, you know? They, they, they may have their own organizations and associations, but they're, they're not uh, uh, built to uh, combine and fight back and collectively bargain the way unions are. And, and so they're kind of without uh, a means to, to fight back, and then they fall prey to, to, to the uh, fascist uh, uh, propaganda. Uh, they, they blame the uh, problem on immigrants, you know? They blame, blame the problems on African Americans, on Latinos, on Asians, on, on everything. Uh, but big business, you know, and 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 and, and fascism, uh, while while a dictatorship uh, is 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 brought about because the the ruling class is is able to ideologically coalesce sections of the population on the basis of this racism, on the basis of uh, anti-immigrant hate. On, on the basis of misogyny and, and the exploitation of women, on, on the basis of uh, LGBT, 
LGBTQ hate uh, uh, on the basis of anti-Semitism, you know, which was a big issue in uh, Germany. Today, on the basis of Islamophobia, you know, these are the uh, uh, ideological uh, uh, poisons that cohere uh, sections of the population uh, along the lines of a fascist movement, which to today, in our opinion, is represented by MAGA, Make America Great Again, which, by the way, is a fascist slogan that was borrowed from the 30s and 40s, you know? They, they <laughs> took it <coughs> in whole, not in part, and, and just readapted it to today's circumstances. However, all of that said, if you look to Germany or Italy or Spain for examples of U.S. fascism, fascism American style, you're not going to find it, you know? If you look for the sources of it in Germany, Italy, or Spain, or in any other country for that, ma for that matter, you're not going to find it either because fascism uh, in this country will be based on what's happening here. Uh, it, it, it will be based on uh, the, the worst elements of U.S. culture. Uh, it'll be, it, it'll be uh, wrapped in the American flag. Uh, it'll be served uh, with a piece of apple pie. Uh, it, 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 it will be uh, represented uh, by the, by, by, by the uh, worst uh, uh, images of, 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 of what, what they call uh, the, the happy days of, of the United States when America uh, was uh, once great, and, and therefore you won't see any African Americans in that image. Uh, you won't see any Latinos uh, in that image, or, or, or Native Americans, or Asians in, in that image. If you do see them, they'll be sweeping the floor, you know, or at the golf course carrying the uh, uh, caddying, carrying the carts um, as, as, as maids and uh, servants. And, and that's what MAGA is all about, you know, taking us back to a time when uh, labor, uh, uh, people of color, uh, immigrants had no rights that uh, big business uh, were bound to respect, you know. And, and therefore, there will be a shredding of all of the uh, even limited rights that are uh, now won in the 1930s and, and during the uh, civil rights period. There will be a, a jettisoning of the Department of Education. There will be an elimination of food stamps. The, the National Labor Relations Board, forget about it, gone. EPA, Environmental Protection, Thing of the past, you know. Uh, they don't believe in uh, global warming, notwithstanding mountains of evidence to the uh, uh, contrary. And that's because big oil has a vested interest in continuing to produce diesel and uh, gas um, uh, engines, you know. Their, 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 their interest is in their short-term uh, uh, profits. You know, in the 1930s, uh, there was a credible threat from the left in Germany, which necessitated the uh, growth of the Nazi party as an instrument of suppressing them. Uh, there is no such credible threat from the left in the United States or in most of the countries of Europe, if you want to know the truth. So the question then arises, why the uh, growth of fascism? Why, why is 
Trump and, and MAGA on the edge of winning the U.S. election. I don't think they will win, but, you know, it's going to be close. The same thing is true in, in France, in Spain, and in uh, the U.K. Well, the right wing just got defeated in the uh, U.K., thankfully, but in the other countries of Central and uh, uh, Northern Europe. And, and here, one of the uh, uh, big issues, and there, is immigration, you know, from the United States, from Mexico and Central America, and in Europe, from, from uh, North Africa and uh, Asia, Middle East. And, and here again, uh, in an effort to suppress the wages of labor, the right wing in Europe blames the immigrants, you know? Uh, it blames uh, the, the people who are fleeing hunger and deprivation, and even some dictatorships themselves, they, they receive the onus of the burden with respect to the uh, problems, and the right is uh, 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 able to uh, uh, organize uh, big sections of the population, including some sections of the working class along those lines, hence, hence the origins of this uh, danger. There, there is a, a fierce uh, a competition to, to lower the cost of labor, to, to, by whatever means possible, increase its exploitation uh, and and that means creating division, and, and that division leads to fascism, this, which is why we put so much emphasis on the uh, fight for unity, uh, the unity of the uh, working class in the first place, but the unity of the broader people's movement as well. And that means with women, with people of color, with people of different uh, sexual orientations. We all have a vested interest in pushing back this danger, but you just can't wish for it. You have to have a platform and program that uh, fights for it, and that is a program that has to deal with issues like housing, it has to deal with jobs, it has to deal with making up for past inequalities, so that means it has to deal with affirmative action. We, 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 it has to be a program that addresses the global warming and this environmental catastrophe that, 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 that is with us, that is with us, not something that's going to happen. It is in the course of happening, uh, not withstanding the, the blindness of the uh, uh, far right. Um, and, and, and that's an electoral platform uh, that, that has to be legislated, uh, but you can't just leave it at legislation now because we have a Supreme Court that is uh, the best Supreme Court that money can buy. It's a, it's a Supreme Court that is now dominated by the uh, MAGA right, and that means that a mass movement has to be built in the streets, in the factories, on the campuses to fight for it. You know, the, the UAW uh, president, uh, Brother Fain, is, is calling for uh, lining up the contracts of workers from many different industries in 2028 to, to threaten a general strike of labor uh, in May of that year, you know, unless the demands of unions for, for a better jobs, for health and safety, for pensions, for, for working class rights are, are met. That's the kind of uh, mass working class militant action uh, that we need. That's one example of it. But if it's that and, and, and only those kinds of activities that, that are going to bring, bring about substantial change. Because the ruling class of this country only understands one thing, and, and that is power and relationships of power. They, they will only do 
what uh, they are forced to do. Uh, and, and the only way that you can force them is by hitting them in the pocketbook. And that means you got to strike. That means you got to occupy. That, that means you got to boycott. That means you got to shut it down, you know, uh, as well as vote. And if we creatively employ all of these uh, methods, we'll be well on the way of defeating the uh, fascist uh, uh, danger. Uh, you know, back in the day, and I'll end with this, uh, in the early part of the 20th century, actually just around the turn from the 19th to the 20th uh, century, uh, Lenin wrote a uh, very important uh, piece of thinking, writing, that everybody uh, might want to consider reading. And it, it was called The Two Tactics of Social Democracy in the Democratic Revolution. And in it, he, he, he argues for uh, uh, two very important things. First, that, that there is a need to put what he called a working class stamp on the uh, battle for democracy. At that time, it was the, the fight against the Asiatic, what he called Asiatic despotism in the form of czarism in Russia. And, and they called then for a broad front to defeat czarism. Uh, and, and the workers must lead that front. Their, their ideas and their platform must leave a, a, a stamp uh, uh, on that front. That, that, that was the uh, first uh, uh, condition that uh, Lenin uh, called for. The other thing he argued for was a, what he called a strategic defeat of czarism. And today we would uh, call a strategic defeat of the far right, you know. And what would that look like, you know? It, 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 it means that you would uh, not only have to defeat them electorally, you know, you, you would have to push them back in the judiciary. You would, you, you, you would have to uh, uh, push them back uh, in the legislatures, y you would have to push them back in 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 the in, in the uh, military and in the intelligence communities. You know, um, y you would you would have to find ways of taking uh, money out of politics, um, uh, breaking their 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 ties with uh, the big financial. Uh, institutions, you would have to defeat them ideologically, you know, um, and 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 that means uh, uh, reducing, if not preventing, their ability to espouse hate and and fascistic uh, ideas. Um, which lead to and incite violence against others, you know. We got a big job to do. Um, and the first step in that process is by making sure that we go out and vote this year. Early voting, starting in a few weeks, y'all, you know. And the stakes are big, you know. The House of Representatives is up. The Senate is up. City councils are up for grabs. State legislatures are up for grabs. The presidency, up for grabs. And it all matters greatly. Uh, anybody that don't think it matters, just ask a woman who, who, uh, who lives in a particular state that's been outlawed, that has outlawed abortion. Uh, and I think you'll get a, 
very sharp and direct answer. So we got a lot to do, but if we're united, uh, we can certainly do it. Uh, yeah, we know something about fascism. We fought it fascist-like conditions in the South. We fought it in Spain. We fought it during World War II. Uh, we, we, we fought the repression of our party during the 1950s where we were jailed under the Smith Act. You know, the charge was thinking Marxist thoughts, conspiring to teach, to overthrow the government of the United States. Our leadership served several years in federal prisons uh, for those trumped up charges. We continue to fight it uh, in the 1960s. Uh, we we uh, joined the effort to fight fascist-like conditions in South Africa. And, and, and today, we're, we're fighting it uh, from, from Gaza to Galveston, Texas, you know, uh, that the fight against fascism and right-wing policies are international. And so we hope you'll join us in that fight.